Hey everybody, this is another post tweet jam interview, and I'm talking today with Kurt. Hey Kurt, thanks for doing this. Hi. Thanks for being part of this. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, it was an interesting topic. So I, I know I knew we were going to have a lot of energy, but behind the topic of con, you know how do we control sprawl with Microsoft Teams, and so yeah. it was you know a smaller group, very active. I think we had, again had you know over two million impressions. A lot of activity that happened um, during the one hour. So let's kick things off. And well, Kurt, why don't you introduce yourself and what you do and where you are? Well, I'm in uh, I'm in uh, in Aarhus in Denmark, and uh, second biggest town and uh, city or whatever you would call it. And um, and what do I do for 22 years almost? I've I've been sharing knowledge about in the beginning about intranets and that turned out to be a lot of SharePoint, and then it turned out to be a lot of Office 365, and now it's Microsoft 365. And it's now Azure as well, and, and what do we know? So, but 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 our, our mission is actually to make the world a better place to work. That's that's what we are, that's what we're aiming at uh, to do. And, and and I think there's a there's a lot of ways to do that with uh, with digital done right, I would have to say. And for that, we need some structure. And if we don't have the structure and tell people, uh, I think a few of things that's missing out there, which is also what came out of the, the, the tweet session was actually that we need to teach people or at least give them ways of learning how to actually structure things. And um, yep. because if they don't, if they don't know where to put it, then they put it somewhere and another guy would put the same thing in another place. And then we don't know which of these things are the right thing, um, which is probably none of them are because uh, somebody worked on my bit and other people worked on your version of it. And then it yeah. forked again and then we've got new versions and nobody actually know what's right or wrong. So, so and. And again, I, I think that's well. Any, anyway, yeah. so so yeah. What so 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 basically, what we're doing, we're sharing knowledge and and uh, running conferences uh, online and 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 in person, uh, which we just talked about. Um, and uh, and then we have these networking groups uh, that that where, where we try to get people into small circles or or, or, or groups uh, where they know each other and trust each other. Yeah. And dare uh, talk the real story uh, about Microsoft 365 or Internet. I mean, it's also change management, information management, and whatever we're having groups about. You know, so I, uh, I love seeing yeah. the questions that, that are posted out in some of those groups, and I've jumped in some of those conversations to get people engaged and thinking about the kind of the common things and. For those that aren't familiar with the intra team uh, events that that go on, so if you're looking for a deep dive into how to build a healthy working intranet and collaboration platform for your organization, it's a great uh, event. A lot of international folks that participate in there is speaking yeah. and, and attending, so definitely check that yeah. out. Well, Kurt, Thank let's you. let's start things. Let's run through the seven questions and get your thoughts yeah. about each one of those. So the first yeah. question we asked, which what is sprawl and what are the leading causes of sprawl within Microsoft Teams? Yeah, what is sprawl? Uh, in, in, in my definition, it's, uh, it, it's when things get out of hand and, and, and where you actually get, uh, get stuff lying around and, and, and people don't know whether it's here or there or, or as, as, as we just talked about, people have different uh, versions of, 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 of each document uh, or, or yeah. It's not necessarily a document. Somebody do it in whatever, and and and, and there's a ton of ways. I, I don't know the exact number way where you actually can can store files, but I mean, you think right. you're storing it in in. And we, we actually just today had the the problem that we stored a file in 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 Yammer. Somebody uploaded in Yammer, and it's probably not in Yammer. It's probably in SharePoint. I don't I'm, I don't know that much about it. Um, Could be one I'm of a more, dozen different cloud uh, storage locations as well. Yeah. So much. It's funny. We used to talk all the time about needing to enable uh, the bring your own device and and be more flexible on the other the tools that people are custom are working with, and yeah. you know. But at some point, you've got to manage all of that, especially if you work in a regulated industry that you have compliance rules and uh, things that you need to manage. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's that's uh, that that's that, that's also what I see. That's the industries that are that are the best at at, uh, at doing information management uh, are those, and then they have the more creative things where things just go out of hand. But but then again, perhaps it should go out of hand because the serendipity should come there, and that's where the creative ideas come from, uh, which might not happen if you have everything. You know, you have to do right. in boxes well, and stuff like that. that that's know? a great segue. To the second question, which is exactly to that point. So is sprawl a positive or a negative? Is it simply a sign of adoption and growth of Microsoft Teams? And I always make that argument. I play the devil's advocate and say, it's like, well, you see a bunch of sprawl. It's like, yeah, but people are in there. They're doing things. They're collaborating. They're creating content. That's so right. That's a good thing. And that's that's a good thing, and 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 again, I've, I've, I still remember one municipality that was uh, one of these. I don't know what you call it in English, but they have them buy and sell internal in companies, and 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 actually okay. they that. That, that that usually that usually works. No, among uh, when when you sell stuff among employees. So so oh, oh, uh, when, oh like uh, a marketplace. Uh, yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah, internal marketplace, you know, and 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 I haven't seen any of those that didn't work, but it they managed in this municipality because before you could put it in, you have to choose between sixteen different categories where you could put it in, <laughs> yeah. and then you had to search in different sixteen different places to see if there was anything up for sale. Obviously, you could see if there was a cat or uh, somebody had a, a flat in South France for rent or whatever, you know. So, so it was categorized in a way, but but really that should have been just a stream. Uh, and that would have worked if that was just, a, in my opinion, I'm sure it would have worked. And then you can always, so so it's really, should we uh, have these strict rules and boxes and put things in? Uh, and, and I'm a great believer in, in the beginning, I think you should let all flowers grow. And then, and then when you find out there's a little bit too many dandelions, and then we have to take all the dandelions and say, hey, you go in that box. So everybody knows now the dandelions over there. So if you want to talk to them, go there. And then the rest of people can, and then you can sort of grow it from there. And right. and and it also reminds me of one of our members who, uh, Vlox, who's also one of the, uh, the, the 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 examples for use of Microsoft 365, but. Mm-hmm. Um, but what what they have, they actually have given everybody access to all the tools in Microsoft 365. Where I hear a lot of others are, are shutting it trying down. To control so, it. So, right, yeah, right. trying to control it. But but what they're doing, they're they're very clear about what and which tools they support. So I mean, you can yeah. use Planner, yeah, but but you're on your own if they're not supporting it. Uh, yeah. but, but they might support to do or or or, or another tool for uh, for for time management or whatever project management and so on so 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 it's all that's at least the way they do it but sprawl positive or negative um as i said you know i I think you need to let the flowers grow and then if it gets out of hand then because i think if you try to to put it too much into boxes people get into too many empty empty rooms and 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 they sort of find out nothing's going on in here you know well that's that's the thing too is if you're doing to your point if you're locking things down too tightly people won't use it which doesn't mean that they won't collaborate it usually means they go around you that's where shadow it happens yeah they will go find another way to get their work done and to collaborate together and so you know and we're going to come back to this because it i almost said it i almost said the g word governance yeah. we're going to come back to that next question but uh so that that's actually question four but question three was what are the risks of sprawl in, in microsoft teams if left unmanaged so it's one thing that you leave, let's say that organization that leaves it wide open but if they never go in i mean what happens if they never go in and manage and clean that up and they never prune the garden tend to the garden <laughs> Yeah, I think the garden is 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 a good picture of this because obviously if if nobody looks after it, it 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 will get too much weed in there, and and the dandelions and 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 you you won't be able to see the roses because they're they're just disappearing in 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 wheat and 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 everything, so 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 that's really but but still you can go and you can pick a rose if you want. But uh, and and there might be a corner in the garden where, where somebody is looking after it on 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 their own. I I still remember once 
the, funnily enough, another municipality with a, a, a pretty big organization in, in Danish terms anyway. But um, they thought nobody used this internet. So they said, we could as well just shut it down. And then it suddenly turned out that actually they had um, a big a big part of the, the nurses, uh, the, those who were looking after the elderly in, in this municipality, it turned out that they had, they had the, the most beautiful structure and everything about everybody knew where everything was, you know, so yeah. it, 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 you really have to. And so somebody actually looked after it. But the big challenge with this, as I see it, is really that, that that you have to be a little bit unpopular if you're the guy going and say, hey, Christian, you're not allowed to put your file there. You've got to put it over there and you you actually got to tag it with that word because otherwise it won't show up there and and yeah I will be it it it's 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 kind of it's kind of hard to um to really get it uh, get it right um, well that's why and I think that's why in the 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 next question around governance like what is the role of governance in preventing you know preventing so the pre versus or managing which is the post creation sprawl within Microsoft Teams. So it, that having governance doesn't mean just locking things down. Governance could be getting out of the way, letting people do things. But one one other important thing I just thought of this too is that you, you brought the perfect example of that one team that seems to be doing things, they're organized, they found a functional way, they're collaborating, they're successful, they're finding their content, they're creating together, while it's chaos elsewhere, is that you can't go and put one blanket set of rules and policies in place for everybody across the organization that you might have very different ways of, you know, subcultures within the corporate culture for working together. You do. I've, I've. If you don't tell nobody, I've, I've had a background in financial, so, so I've been CFO, you know. So, so, uh, and I'm just saying that that's that's a regulated area where you can't just do things the way you want to do it, even though sometimes it would be nice. Uh, but, but, uh, but you, you're you're absolutely right because then the, again, if you go into R and D, obviously they need to be creative and 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 have looser control because otherwise they don't get the great ideas because if you still have to do everything one way you know forget it that then nobody can get a creative idea if you really always have to think about the rules and the regulations that's that, yeah. that's where you've got to let people go so so I'm, I'm fully with you on that one and and, and i still remember a danish um, uh, ceo he came into a very old-fashioned uh, organization and 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 he just sort of threw out all the mahogany uh, de desks and, and and everything so nobody was to have those you know and everybody was small kings there in their offices and and everybody he, he made these big rooms and everybody could sit where they want to sit and and everything this goes 20 years ago back you know or something but but uh, but 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 again, I came up to him and said, "Hey, not everybody could do that." Oh, okay, he, he admitted because I, I knew with my background that CFOs. Uh, I mean, they they they. I got all my I got all my files here. I, I can't just sit over there or anywhere else because at that stage that was that was what you had in in these. Uh, these things with the, the holes in where you can yeah the binders your, that's right the binders yeah yeah so so yep. so you got to have them around you otherwise you couldn't do your job uh, at that time now you can but but you couldn't then so um, well that's a great example because um, you know hr and finance obviously if you think of like a physical office they have to have a dedicated space because they have uh, sensitive information that needs to be restricted those that can access those kinds of things where whereas the rest of the you know the other teams it and marketing and and support and all can be in a, a larger area and will collaborate in different ways with each other with the full you know the full group and then you yeah. when you want to do it all hands you bring people in so here yeah. you have already different kind of segmentation of your collaboration activities and yeah. you have to govern your system much in the same way yeah, and 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 funny enough, uh, talking about a, a, another organization that wanted to to use Yammer, 
because that was a Microsoft policy and everything. But on the other hand, they were, they were also using Salesforce. Uh, so obviously the salespeople, it made a lot more sense for them to use Chatter. Uh, and, 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 and again, so I'm saying, why should they use Yammer? Because the other thing is so much more connected to Salesforce. And, and, and obviously I'm not saying you could in a way do the same thing, but yeah, do, do you want to force people to do that? Do they necessarily, yeah, I don't know. But, well, I have an but, answer uh, for that. Having worked in an organization where we had that exact scenario is there are integration tools between Chatter and Yammer. Yeah. So yeah. to help bridge the gap, it's not perfect, um, but it helped bridge the gap so that. Yeah, yeah, obviously. You know, yeah, of course there is. And, and, and on the other hand, if we take the municipalities, we've got the schools. The schools have got their, a, a, not necessarily a fantastic tool, but they've got kind of their own tool to work with the pupils and, 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 uh, and, and the teachers and, and, and the administration and everything. So that, that's sort of in its own, but, but that's then part of municipality. And, 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 the, and then they, they, it's always a challenge for them to actually get into the schools, you know, to, to how do they get your, their uh, news and their information in there. So, so, so how to how to create that? But uh, I think a municipality did manage to have sort of put it in there, you know, and then they had the menu for for the whole uh, internet or digital workplace or whatever we should call it, Microsoft 365. It's probably going to go in Teams or uh, now soon. Right. Yeah, well, there's, that's why there's there's so many. Uh, yeah. There's even uh, you know education is a is a standalone topic. There's so many things that. Microsoft is developing that are unique to that, which kind of points back to, um, you know, Microsoft realizes that for, you know, public sector, so government entities and for education and for healthcare, that there are, you know, different needs that are specific to industry. Companies should also be thinking about what's nuanced, what's different about what our needs are. So yeah. I always argue that, you know, governance can take you so far of management of looking at, you know, something like Microsoft Teams. How are we organized? How are people collaborating? We don't want to get in the way, but we need to do it in a responsible, well-managed and compliant and secure way. And so where are we seeing that we that, that we need to provide guardrails in some areas yeah. and other areas be wide open? and then manage be between that. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's, so the, yeah. the next yeah. question too, we, we started to touch on a little bit. You were talking about specific solutions. The fifth question was, what are three technology solutions? It doesn't have to be three. If you can only think of one or two, that's fine. But uh, technology solutions to managing sprawl in teams. So when you think of tooling to help manage sprawl, it doesn't have to be a product name, but like a no. category of. No, I wouldn't. Uh, I, I would think that the whole structure, uh, structuring the, the, the things, is is the tool in in a way, uh, if you can call it a tool. But 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 I think that's the exercise you need to to try to run through. I mean, again, if we're talking about this flowering garden, you know, and we, we need to find find some of these sections where we can say um, we actually have. Um, uh, another example that came up with the uh, tax authorities that that actually had their support call and and every time uh, so they they located three different places in Denmark and and uh, and and uh, and the experts uh, the experts are how, how do we get hold of the experts how, how how do I make sure if I'm one of those picking up the phone and getting a call from Christian hey how do I do with my tax or VAT or whatever you know and I say it's a personal tax yeah it's personal tax okay so okay so so write down your your query and I say I'll just check up on that Christian and then what they actually do they write they, they've got a, a team uh, so hard to say a teams but a teams uh, and 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 in that they got channels and 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 they got channels for personal tax and company tax and VAT and whatever there is and then they've got experts on each of these channels so there's an expert in each of these channels looking after it so I'll type this one in into the channel that's relevant uh, or I might even find the answer there from somebody else uh, if I look in there uh, I can search and everything, but but I can actually say so. Christian's got this uh, tax, blah blah blah, and then I get confirmed. Oh, here you are. That's a, that's a rule that applies for you, or uh, that's seventeen percent, or whatever the answer is. You know, I've, I I get it. Uh, I get it there. So so you can have people who are not necessarily 
very clever in, in tax and everything, but the experts are, of course, uh, know what they're doing. So it uh, so so what I'm saying, one of the tools is is actually is, is structuring. Um, and again, if you have a good structure, you will be sure that people. <laughs> but again, if you can make it too strict, then you, can't, you won't have it there. But 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 I mean. I, I, again, it's a matter of, of because if I look over here, I'm used to put it up here and, and yeah, oh, the resource, the, this one, is, oh, there's, there's two. We actually have many edi editions of this uh, book. What, what on earth is going on here? And, 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 and I know VLOX, they found out they had 9.6 versions of each document. And, and that was because if, if we just had it put in once, you know, then everybody would look in this copy and we would take all the rest of these copies and we'll just simply put them up next to the other one, right? Yeah. And then uh, and, and, and then everybody can see here's all the versions uh, of it. Yeah. Yeah, I have to say that, Kurt, that felt a bit staged that you just had all the copies of the book there to, with all the different versions out there. But it you know, make, makes the point there. Well, I mean, they are the same. They're the same. Yeah, they're, no, they're, I know. They're, they're, I know they're books we give away for our speakers because it's actually yeah. a book about hookah. If you haven't heard about that, the Danish hookah, you know. That's one great. One of, so, yeah. Well, there's uh, so there, uh, you know, the next question was around you kind of, you know, moved over into that, which is what are the three soft skills or best practices in managing sprawl Microsoft Teams? So part of that is, you know, having that plan, building a structure, going through that. Back on the tools and structure side of that, they, they kind of blur the lines sometimes between them. One of the things that I think is is very, very important is having, and there's a number of third-party solutions that are out there for um, moving content around there. Microsoft has tools and ISVs have different tools. And yes, there's a, a other kind of scripts and, and a lot of expertise out there moving that. But I think it's, it's part of what I constantly uh, tout is the fact that, um, especially as the volume of content grows so rapidly within Microsoft Teams, we're seeing customers approaching us as an ISV more and more about doing Teams to Teams migrations. And I, I don't like the word migration here. It's more, I look at it more as change management. Like if it, if a, you're, you have a reorg, if you yeah. want to you find that there's vast sprawl and you need to go in and restructure and clean up and you want to be able to, to move content between it, that's, that's something to consider as part of your strategy, depending on the volume of content and how often that you find yourself uh, you know, in that world. I mean, I, I remember when I was a SharePoint admin, when that was part of my role or my team's role in the systems that we owned, uh, you know, we were constantly restructuring and cleaning up orphan SharePoint sites and orphan content and duplicate content. That was an yeah. ongoing service that we provided was to clean that up. And yeah. so that's why I, I look at it more of like an ongoing, what does the business need to do? Let's not get caught up in what is the what is the technology dictate that we go and do. Let's do what's right for the business. We'll go through the pains of moving things around because it's what the business needs. Yeah. But that's because one that's, way that we control sprawl yeah. is, is, you know, it, sometimes going in there and doing these these yeah, projects, and, and, content moving and, projects, and and again, I mean, tools again is is, is to make sure that people don't necessarily create. A, it, it, it's always a challenge because you you you, 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 you somehow it, you, you've got to. It's got to be easy to make a new teams if if we're going to collaborate with right. people. Uh, uh, on the other hand, it's 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 damn stupid that I make the tense uh, uh, teams about the same topic instead of sort of getting into the other teams. I mean, well, one of the sort so Yeah, well, that's why having like a formal provisioning process yeah. where there's there's like a survey on the front end of that, where you're yeah, yeah. At, and part of that survey when they say, here's the purpose, here's the name, and then it will go in and utilize the AI to go search through and say, hey, are these hey. potentially similar teams that yeah. already exist? Yeah, exactly. That's that's yeah. uh, that's a that's a very clever way because uh, I, I still remember somebody who actually one of the series 
uh, few few serious working uh, few serious companies working with certs uh, and and but but uh, even though they they worked with it um, very intensively they had a conference internal conference and they had people over from mexico and it turned out that that people from mexico were actually uh, spent years many man hours man years in developing a product that turned out that so had they been doing in copenhagen they didn't know that the other company was actually working on the same uh, yeah. product or, or yeah. whatever you know and 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 but they, they they found out that because they called it two different things and the search engine wasn't able to sort of connect these things so 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 again yeah. again it's it's uh, ai is good but 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 uh, i think it's good to support people but but i still think in the end we need we need we still still need people to to actually yeah. uh, uh, help that along but 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 we need tools that 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 can that can help us here we need people, we need information architecture. It's so funny that so many of the problems that play, you and I have been doing this for long enough. We could talk about, you know, in the in the early days of information management systems, but the fact that the problems that we're having in the modern technologies are still the fundamentals of the first portal that I built in the mid 1990s, you know, around needing to have the right information ar architecture taxonomy around the content that we're adding in and then finding that balance between automated and manually input so that again it, to, to direct people massage them into doing the right thing in the right way yeah. and that's a constant battle it's it's a constant battle and and uh, and i think um, I don't know. I think some of the vendors and and now because everything is artificial intelligence, I mean it's just solving everything. All our problems are going to be solved with that. But I just think that there's so many examples and 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 Agnes Molnar has also been up with, you know, say yeah, it's very good. We've got this document that nobody really should look at, but but by coincidence, Kurt comes into this document and he suddenly presses. Um, space in there and he edits this document and now it turns up for all his colleagues that 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 he's now edited this because artificial intelligence just realized that Kurt has been into this document he's actually put in a space in this document yeah, it by an error now. and it is <laughs> an, a wrong document and now everybody goes in and look at it what what, what is going on you know and and yeah. Ah, and then and, and this is where somebody should be able to stop that in a, in a way, you right. know, but yeah, um, and, and yeah, okay. So no, but yeah, okay. Yeah, you so. know, sorry, I know this is, we don't have time to jump into it, but it just made me think about how, was it Microsoft released their pure AI and within 24 hours it, the, yeah, 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 it, it yeah. got polluted, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's a similar, it's yeah, like, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, but, uh, yeah. See, we could uh, sort of trick the system, but but I mean, it's the same as as one guy I heard who was responsible for a page, and he were and he actually got um, because the KPIs was right. If he, he he got he got paid for how many he actually looked at his pages on the yeah. internet. So yep. so whenever whenever he had time, he he was sitting F five F five F five to reload the pages, uh, and so it it ticked up, you know. So of so course. he got a good salary and. But when people understand how they're being measured, they will change their behavior to optimize that measurement. That's human nature. It, 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 it really scares me because I've got a friend who's who's into, he's going for one of the big six or big four or whatever they call today, consultancy companies or accounting companies. And, 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 and he just told me, I have got no clue how my bonus is worked out i i have got <laughs> the faintest idea how they do it yeah. so i'm just thinking about ali and whatever's coming into uh, uh, into viva now with uh, with the kpis and and uh, yeah I've, I've, I think yeah, now, things, now it's Viva yeah. Goals. It has its new name. Oh yeah, Viva Goals. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I know, I know. But 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 I think in instead of KPIs, it should be KBIs. So we should measure the key behavior indicators. So mm. we should make sure that people actually behave the way they do, and not just make them get paid for opening new accounts so that that people in a bank. I'm not mentioning the name here, but there was a bank that actually. Uh, ended up um, uh, giving people bonus for how many accounts they opened, and it it sort of 
yeah. tempted employees to open accounts and credit cards and whatever for people that they didn't ask for, uh, right. but they got bonuses and okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Another I story. Know. Perhaps sprawl yeah. in a different way, if you say. Well, too many credit cards and accounts. So, Kurt, with our last couple minutes here, the final question, um, I don't know if you have any thoughts about this, but what else can or should Microsoft do to curb sprawl in Microsoft Teams? Well, I've, I think I think it's it's probably impossible because sometimes I wish they would sort of uh, invent with a little more uh, speed, a little bit slower and perhaps do it a little bit better. Uh, but I, I, I know I'm not going to get through with that because I, I just know that if, if they do that, somebody else is going to overtake them while they're in the pit to get uh, the engine looked after and to make sure everything is right. So yeah. uh, I, I think too much is, is is sometimes thrown out on the street. I mean, we can take Viva. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, among my members, there's only... I think there's only uh, connections that's actually being used. Uh, I, I've got I've I've got nobody saying hey topics is good. Uh, I've got nobody saying yeah we're looking into learning we're looking into topics but we we it's not mature enough yeah. you know and it's and it's a year gone at, at least you know yeah and and In, uh, insights is the same thing takes a lot yeah. of effort to get there a lot of and, setup. And, and actually, just mentioning insights, and it's perhaps just a little coincidence uh, or, or a little error or something, but 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 now it, I, I, I actually enjoyed getting these emails, which I believe is a kind of my personal insights or something uh, where it comes up. It actually reads my mails and I realize that I sent you an email. Uh, I didn't, but I could have sent you an email uh, three days ago and say, hey, did you see this? Or, uh, and, and then it sort of tells me, hey, you sent an email to Christian. Did you get an answer for that? Or, or should I remind you tomorrow? Or, or will you click here and then yeah. you go directly to I the email? That. I think that's, that, that's, that's a fantastic help, actually, because now yeah. I don't have to look after it. But now when I click on this email, it won't load. I'm, 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 I don't get nothing in there. Oh. I mean, it can be, it can be small problems, but... It's just sometimes, you know, where I often think about this story about the massive Ferguson uh, tractors from 1990. I don't know if you're familiar with those, but but Jeremy McGovern told me about those in one of his newsletters, and and and, and it's actually so. If 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 you look at the farmers, they much prefer a tractor, massive Ferguson from 1990, to a new tractor. Do you know why? Because it's got four wheels, it's got an engine, and it can run. It can do the job in the field. And if it breaks, which seldom happens, then they can fix it themselves, or or the the blacksmith up in town can do it. Um, mm -hmm. If he's just, I mean, you, you can weld it or, or whatever, yeah, right. whatever happens to it. But if you have one of these new modern tractors and that breaks, yeah, well, you've got to have somebody flown in from whatever and the internet connection, and 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 there's nobody who knows what what's going on well, in the computers of this tractor and and everything. It's, it's not just the tractors; it, it's cars are the same way. But it's you know you know there was a little bit back and forth uh, at the end of the tweet jam on this on this point where I think a couple of comments that were made and I, I made something similar saying, I don't know that there's anything that Microsoft needs to do on the end of this to some degree, we need to be, we need to go in and work with what we have. We need to, it has more to do with managing what we already have than it is needing new features, which is not to say, and I think we're the, the back and forth happened, which is not to say that there are not, things that Microsoft can innovate, that they can change to improve the way that the solutions work, there's always going to be suggestions and things that they can go and do. Yeah. But there is so much that's out there that we have control over today that we're not utilizing the tools, we're not utilizing the features, we're not taking the time to go and plan and build the governance and things around that. And so it's, it's less on Microsoft and is more on us as consumers of the platform to go in there and to organize ourselves yeah and and again i i i think one of the things also is that 
the people, us who are in this field, we, we love the new things. I mean, I can't make a new uh, inter-team news next week if, if, if there isn't anything new in there. So obviously, I promote the new stuff. Everybody working with this, look at the new shiny stuff, you know. And, and just back to Jerry McGovern, I'm a great fan of Jerry McGovern. And, 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 and he, was, he was hosting a, a conference in 1990, in 1999, I think. Um, about this, and he had this girl uh, talking about information management uh, in 1999, uh, and 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 that was a great session, Jerry thought, you know, and 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 lady got sort of uh, moderate applause. Then came a guy talking talking about in 1999 about the personal assistant. And everybody was, whoa, whoa, fantastic, 1990. 1999, and we're we're sort of there for, for some, some things now, right? That was right it's, at the beginning of SaaS. I mean, that was a new term for most people still, and so being able to get access to that 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 was that was the era, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 no, no. But the idea is that people were. This guy couldn't be. Um, he couldn't be anywhere. People were just sort of following him. What Jerry told him, me. And 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 no and nobody was interested in the in 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 the girl who was actually doing the the boxing and making sure things were in the right place, you know. Right. Right. Nobody nobody felt that was interesting. And and I don't. Yeah, I'm just saying it's again different p- people types. I just think sometimes I think we need somebody in in IT that's also a little bit more square and not necessarily just running after all the new and fancy stuff. Yeah. Well, agreed. Well, listen, I, I know we're out of uh, time here, Kurt. Really appreciate yeah. you, you the time. And for, for if you're interested to get in touch with Kurt, I've got all this contact information both uh, within uh, the YouTube as well as the blog post. And uh, so hopefully get a few more people over to your uh, your next conference. But hope yeah. to see you soon uh, in, in Same person. To you. Let's venture out yeah. your way and yeah. Yeah. we'll talk to you soon. Same to you, Christian. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much.